everybody, I'm Pratika Koi and welcome to another very interesting conversation. It is still day one at uh, the United Nations in New York City and I am joined with the CEO of the French Development Agency, Mr. Remy Rio. Did I say that right? I... Excellent. Okay, good. How are you? How has it been going? Hard to say. I'm fine, I'm fine. Very pleased to yeah. be here. Uh, in New York, uh, eight years after I was there for the SDG Summit back uh -huh. in 2015, 15. I negotiated the, the finance track uh -huh. of the Paris Agreement for climate. Yeah. So very important to, to take stock of where we are and measure the way forward. Okay, so I have a lot of audience that's from India, I know. a lot I of know. young people. If you could just explain a little bit about what you do. So I'm the head of, uh, I would say the French, International Public Development Bank. So you know maybe the World Bank, which yeah. is our common yeah. public financial institution. Yeah. So you have the same. Yeah. Actually, you have 530 public development banks in the world, okay. including several of them in India. Yeah. So they can finance international cooperation, like the World Bank and AFD. But they can also finance their, our domestic, national, or sub-national transformation. Yeah. Because yeah. The message of the SDG is it's not an international agenda. Yeah. I mean, in the end, every community, yeah. every firm, every uh, um, uh, institution has to do its part and every transform yeah. itself to align with the goals. Yeah. And where do you come in? So you uh, help in facilitating all of that? So I'm, I'm the head for seven years now of AFD. We are active in uh, 150 countries, okay. including in India. Okay. And we are financing about 12 billion euro uh, of projects each year. 60% uh, of these have a direct con contribution to the fight against climate change which makes the contribution of France to the 100 billion, you know, of Copenhagen. 66% yeah. have a contribution for gender equality, mm. because this is a condition for SDGs uh, yeah. uh, as a whole. And the specificity is we are financing not only governments, yeah. but for more than half of our portfolio, yeah. we are financing, uh, uh, again, municipalities, uh, NGOs, CSOs, New, um, private sector, state-owned enterprise, public banks, so that we find uh, the best Way channels to, make it forward. to have impact, yeah. actually, in a specific country. Yeah. So we're a bit agile, flexible, yeah. trying to understand as deeply as possible the context yeah. where we intervene. Speaking of challenges in the future, yeah. we are halfway through our SDG goals. Yes. What do you think uh, are your biggest challenges um, going forward now? to The beauty of SDGs is that they are interlinked. I mean, it's, it's a way to stop thinking that, okay, we have to do health, Just one of we have to are. do energy, we have to do... It's really about uh, inviting all of us to respect us and to pay a closer attention to specific communities and territories and find a way to reach them and, well, try to sort uh, what is the most important thing for them, which is different from one another. country, one region to another. Yeah. And so it's, it's really about respect. It's really about uh, a global agenda. We all have to transition. I mean, there's no model. The, nobody is catching up with anybody. The, we, we know that in France by heart yeah. <laughs> from our history. And, and we can learn from each other. Yeah. So we have to exchange yeah. innovations, yeah. Uh, new practices uh, like health. Yeah. And, and again, this network of public banks, they can be a, a very significant part uh, to do that. To yeah. do that. Yeah. If, if I had to ask you one advice you would like to give to a young person watching this about understanding how finances kind of help in the overall, overall development of not just you, but also your community. What, it could be as simple as open your own bank account. I, I don't know. What, what Financial inclusion is very important, inclusion? Okay. of course, and we know there are many countries where, yes, people do not have bank accounts. Uh, bank accounts. Yeah. And, and attached to the bank accounts, there must be yeah. teaching, there yeah. must be some sort of pedagogy yeah. of like what I it, really what wish it I means. Was taught taxes better. Uh, and, and to pay yeah. taxes as well. Yeah. I mean, you, we're, we're talking a lot about debt distress of yeah. countries, yeah. but you, you always have to measure the level of debt in a country with its capacity to tax people. Yeah. I mean, because, and it's way bigger 
if people are agreeing yeah. on being taxed. Yeah. And here also there's an issue of trust. Yeah. So yes, there's a lot of apprenticeship, there's a lot of work. And in the end, having a bank account uh, uh, is also some sort of civic uh, yeah. responsibility and a way to master yeah. your own destiny, uh, playing your part in the financial Being system. responsible. For Absolutely. Yourself. And ask the banks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make them accountable. Yeah. Because when you have a bank account and you put your savings uh, yeah. as small as they are on a bank account, then you are entitled to say, are you aligning with SDGs? Yeah. Are you financing brown investments or yeah. green investments? And if gathered, if collect well, this, collectively, I mean, you have a voice. You have a voice in these institutions. And that can Believe bring me. about change. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No, this was you. very, very insightful. And thank you so much for spending time with us. See you. Thanks have a, a lot. Have a good one. Have a good summit.